on. So that's 10 hertz. So that, that means that the field rotation is 10 hertz. Right, so it's going through uh, the... Because obviously this is a multipole motor. I think it's 12. Um, <clears throat> so that means that the field, the field rotation in that motor is 12 is 10 hertz which means it's 10 times, it's rotating the field 10 times a second and I do believe that this is a 12 pole motor which means that <coughs> that should be rotating at um, once every uh, so that's 10, 10 field rotations a second right but it's a 12 pole motor so that means the rotation speed should be 12 poles it rotates 12 poles 10 times a second which means it's going to be about you know it'll be um, um, uh, you know, in, in the region of a one second and it is it's, it's slightly less actually it's uh, 0.8 or something like that so, because it's uh, 1.2 rotations a second. Yeah, because that's 12 divided by 10, so that's 1.2. So it should be doing 1.2 rotations a second, you see. So, and it, it looks like it's rotating at about once a second, so, you know, the mass is about right. Okay. <coughs> yeah, so there we go. And a beautiful, if I can get that in, it's a really beautiful square wave. Um, voltage is three point about three point two volts. It's the voltage I'm measuring it from is here, <coughs> which is the digital input uh, to the three phases. Yeah, so you know, and I mean, a real situation means that that motor would be going at uh, if that's going at like one point two a second. And in a real situation, we're talking about gearing it down around about the ten to one mark. I wish that store would stop blooming sawing. Which means 1.2 uh, rotations a second will translate to uh, 0.12 rotations a second. Okay. <coughs> Is it? No. Yeah. Anyway, if we just say it's about one a second, and then it's a uh, you divide it by ten to translate to wheels. So that means wheels are going to be one rotation every 10 seconds okay and there you go there's the wheels uh, I don't know what that co that goes to but we, you, you, you're sort of talking about I don't know sort of relative walking speed we haven't, we haven't really improved on the speed just by taking all the gearing off <coughs> but at least we've got access to it and we can attach sensors now because we can put the sensors on it now uh, we need to know how many poles there are but we can quite easily work that out by just simply um, stepping the motor through and, and discovering that, that's not a problem and then once we do that we can attach sensors, we can attach magnets to it and Hall effect sensors and then uh, we can actually feed that into the BLDC circuit and make it an active circuit instead of a passive one which means we can then discover uh, we, can, we can then just vary the speed without having to keep timing the uh, BLDC and we can see it work properly and obviously the other the other part of that is <laughs> we're only working on 12 volts but really we want this to work on its full voltage so I have to work on the circuit to do the proper driver side so I'm going to redo this as a Vero board so it's a printed circuit um, uh, maybe me leave off the grounding resistors and then attach the driver circuits and then we can experiment with that but it's just, you know, we just kind of got back to where we were, but I've got this battery charging. The biggest difference, basically, is the current, which I didn't show you. Now, you can see it's drawing about 3 amps. And I think, I believe, when I was doing it in a car, in order to maintain a coherent um, drive, you needed somewhere in the region of 10 to 12 amps. But now it's only 3, because there's no uh, load on the motor. So we can experiment with this and that charger can maintain the three amps that it's drawing so you know we've got like a an impromptu power pack which will work indefinitely so long as we have mains temperature 20 we've got 12 volts and we're drawing yeah i mean it's about three amps it's flicking around but it's basically about three amps
So we can work out what the power is being drawn by the motor. Hmm. It's quite straightforward actually. It's 12 times 3, <laughs> which is 36. Oh, crikey. Which is 36 watts. <coughs> yeah. So currently that's running on 36 watts just to drive itself effectively. It's driving against its bearings, a bit of oil sloshing, stuff like that. Um, once I actually get the sensor circuit on, I can discover how well it locks uh, to the speed because obviously the um, AC synthesis. Oh, for crying out loud. 